So like the title says, in this video, we're gonna be talking about tips and tricks that can instantly upgrade any outfit. If you're new here, my name is Chi and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if that sounds like, like what you're into, then sis, keep on watching. <laughs> Yes, you can have great style, whether you're plus size, curvy, mid-size, style is not about size. So one of the first ways to instantly upgrade an outfit is to juxtapose. Now, if you don't know what juxtaposition is, it's essentially opposites attract. I'm sure you guys have all heard that tagline and in fashion, it holds true, okay? So essentially you're mixing two things that should not automatically go together. For example, a frilly dress with a chunky pair of sneakers. I know some people don't like the chunky sneaker trend, but that is essentially the idea. Or maybe instead of a chunky sneaker, a pair of Doc Martens. Doc Martens are really tough, you know, and then the dress is really frilly. So together they kind of balance each other out and they give you instant style points. That's all what all the fashionistas are doing this these days. Now, if the idea of wearing chunky Doc Martin boots doesn't really interest you, then here is another example of how you could do this. Denim and lace. Denim is something that's typically more rugged, more rough, and lace is something typically more feminine and more soft. And as you can see from this outfit, they pair well together especially since both of them are in the same colorway. It almost looks like the top and bottoms came together. And literally I've had this lace top for probably 10 years, if not longer. And I recently just picked up this pair of white denim. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm able to play with opposing textures and together it creates a very balanced and very cohesive look. Let me know what you think about this outfit and what your thoughts are on juxtaposition. So the next instant outfit trick is going to be the third piece. If you're not new to this channel, you've probably heard me talk about the third piece because I really believe in the power of the third piece, okay? It can take the most basic outfit <laughs> and just elevate it and look a little bit more style eyes. Now, third piece is basically your statement maker. It can be a hat, like in the case of this outfit. Here, I just have on a sheer shirt and a necklace, and if I wanted to, I could rock the outfit just like that. But by matching a hat to um, a color that is in this print, I am tying the whole entire outfit together and making it look a little bit more stylized. Like, in the case of this looks, I decided to add this straw hat. This is a perfect outfit if you're on vacation or if you just want to feel like you're on vacation in the city. What I like about this hat is that not only is it a statement, but it also has that black band that ties in. So your third piece does not have to be a hat, but during the summertime, a hat <laughs> especially if you are in the mid-Atlantic, is your be best bet because you're not adding any additional layers which would cause you to overheat. So let me know your thoughts on this look down below. Would you add the hat? If not, what would you add to complete this look or what would you use as your third piece? So the next trick that you can use to instantly update a boring outfit is to play with textures. Now. To me, this is very similar to juxtaposition, especially during the summer, just because we don't have as much leeway because of the heat to play around with different layers and things like that. But you can still pull off mixing textures if you put a little bit of thought to it. So here you can see a black dress, and I'm sure you're like, oh my God, Chi Chi, a black dress dress it is summer it is hot well this black dress is actually made out of a really lightweight cotton it's so light that it actually has a slip dress that goes underneath it as you can see the fabric of the dress is an eyelet fabric so there's tiny little holes going through it again another way to kind of add some circulation um some cross ventilation and to make the dress even more airy now the reason why i'm pointing out the eyelet detail is because that is that creates a texture on the dress and to continue on with the mixing of textures I pulled out this black and um, cream colored striped raffia tote. Raffia is definitely one of those textures we see a lot of during the summer in straw hats, in bags, in slippers, shoes, mules. I mean, um, Bottega came out with these raffia mules that are so cute. Um, so it's a texture we see a lot of during the summer and I encourage you to play around with it. So now we have the eyelet detail on the dress. We have the 
raffia texture and then to take it up a notch i pulled out my rope sandals and if you guys can see the detail it actually is like two pieces of rope twined um, or braided together. And so we are having three different textures. Now these are very subtle sort of like outfit details, but together they really help to add a little bit of interest to your look. And um, in my opinion, upgrade a basic outfit. Okay, so let me know your thoughts down below. Do you play around with textures during the summer, during the fall and winter? I love doing this. You can mix tweed with leather and fur and all of that good stuff, but do you do it during the summer? And what are your thoughts on this look? Would you wear this? And if you wouldn't wear this, um, how would you style this look differently? So the next tip, don't forget about your accessories, right? I feel like, especially during the summertime, that the, your accessories really come out to shine. Your oversized um, pendant, your chunky linked necklaces, your chunky bracelets, your bold rings. Literally, your, your jewelry can have such an impact on your outfit and this outfit is a perfect example and honestly you could throw on some flip-flops some slides your back and your keys and be on your merry way but if you had to take that same look from day to night and you wanted to upgrade that basic tee and um jean combo then this is the time to pull out all of that jewelry i love to layer my jewelry it's one of those things that also add style points if it's done right one of the biggest tips i can give for you is to really play around with the um widths of your jewelry so let me know if this is a trick that you try um and what your thoughts are on upgrading your basic tee and jean combo. So if you've made it this far and you're getting some value out of this video, then do your girl a solid and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and save if you are new here. But before I go, I do have one bonus tip that can really help to upgrade, okay, and elevate your outfits and that is to invest in garment care now investing in garment care is like something different to everybody all right for some it's just taking all of your going out close to the cleaners for others it is investing in a steamer you know some lint rollers a lint shaver really these things help to present your garments in the best possible light the worst thing you can do is if you want to create that elevated or upgraded look with your outfits is to walk out the door with a wrinkly top or a wrinkly dress or wrinkly pants so taking the time to have them steamed or dry clean will mean that you no matter how much you spend on the on the piece when you walk out of your house it looks instantly upgraded okay no matter how much you spend on the piece it looks instantly more expensive um I think everyone should have a, a lint roller especially for your dark pieces everyone should have a steamer even if you have an iron because there are just some things that you can't get to with an iron and also i find if you just have a few wrinkles here and there a steamer is a little bit more handy than maybe an iron and then finally lint shaver comes in handy so hard especially during the winter time when you have all those sweaters and tops not really the best quality and tend to peel with a lint shaver you can go ahead and just shave off all those peels and those pieces will look like new all right guys so if you have any tips and tricks as to how you upgrade or elevate your outfits then definitely drop them um in the comments down below let's continue the conversation when i'm not on these youtube streets you can always find me on instagram if you're not following me there then sis oh my god like come on join the fun i share daily fashion and style inspo daily ish let me be honest if you have a burning question or you're trying to get a hold of me when i am not here you can always slide on my dms over there all you have to do is subscribe now make sure to hit that like button as well so i know that you enjoyed this video and to make more videos like this check out this video and check out this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed